you call yeah. when you call Mayfield, you're looking at the brand. That is the brand. The good thing about you is that you didn't give me a name of a cheap stuff they call kennels. So you actually gave me the name of of a man that bred a lot of dogs and he's embedded in a lot of the dogs that we have today. He was impactful in the dogs of today, Don Mayfield. About the specifics of what dog he had, it was good or bad, that's something else. And did he have one single bloodline himself? Well, he had dogs from a lot of people. He did have dogs from a lot of people. When you look at a dog and he had influence on the Eli dogs, Eli dogs are Boudreaux dogs, basically, in, in some part. And, and then that's where they came from. And then they go down. Patrick, basically, Stone Storm and Bolio. Uh, and so that's where they come from. But they came from different bloodlines. But when you name the name Patrick, that means Patrick was the man that had the infusion of breeding the daughters of Bolio to Tombstone and created a bloodline that became very potent and powerful. And that's what we know today as Patrick Dogs. And then you mentioned the name of, I think, was Bersarell. He had dogs that were literally his own bloodline. Out of all those men, Bersarell was, in my opinion, the most complete man, but dog man, but not one that everybody knows. His dogs basically disappear. What you're telling me here, you're giving me the name of, of uh, a dog, Eli. Maybe 100,000 people at one point had dogs that they considered to be Eli. You ask 100,000 people, first 10,000, then 100,000, they're probably 200,000 now because they breed these dogs so much and every dummy will have an Eli dog. The idea that 100% of all these dogs are great is completely moronic and stupid. There's only a small amount of dogs, very small amount of dogs and don't be generous by saying 5%, Less than 1% is going to be of excellence. Which it means right. that most people are holding dicks. Most people are holding a big penis in their hands. They really have nothing. They got a dog they call Eli and they're joined by pedigree. And some they, they say Eli and it's not very little bit of it. They mix with a whole bunch of the stuff. The more men you put in the equation between Eli and your dog, the worse the dog is going to be because the more people you you put, more variables are gonna be, less consistency. So, Don Mayfield died a long time ago, okay? I was in Texas back in 1990, no, 2002 maybe when he died. His best, his best years were in the 80s. That's when his best years were, in the 70s and the 80s. So a dog from him today is probably worth nothing, nothing at all. And a dog from Patrick, they already went through an evolution process and the better of his dogs went to Hollingsworth. And Hollingsworth had one major amazing dog, one. His name was, and that's the name that put him on the map and put his mother on the map as well. And he is grand champion May Day when Ho the Hollingsworth dolly got bred to yellow and then he died. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to see the glory of May Day. So when you see Eli, he's like, Every neighborhood, every hood got Eli. It's not the dog. Right now, Eli are not great dogs at all. 